Hello guys, it's Sharbeard talking, and today let's talk about the gems we just got from Facebook event. And I, I already claimed mine, you can see it here. It was given to all players around 16 years ago, hours ago. Let's uh, just check the history here. And it says... Oops, one more page. Here, uh, it's this 5k gems from the Facebook campaign. And uh, I know probably some of you already spent these gems, but for those that still haven't, and let's talk about some of the banners that are active right now on the game. And there's something that some people need to understand that the Full Metal Alchemist event was uh, a collaboration, it's limited time. So people that wanted Edward or Alphonse were just someone for them. But there's one thing that, that's bad about collect characters that you won't have time to summon for them later. So if you, you either summon them for the character in the exclusive orb or you just lack the, the exclusive orb. Because uh, the step step up banner on Fumet Alchemist will give you the the character if you fail to get it before the the 10 summons and you get tickets to trade for one of the characters so if you were extremely unlucky you should still have a chance to get the character by spending 15 15k gems i'm having some problem with my connection here right now and what what happens here is just that as Edward is limited, you either get him right now with the with the orb, or you just have an Edward uncompleted. That's how you feel when you're comparing your Edward to your other Edwards from other players, because it, it, it changes drastically uh, how the the character works. If you have the the exclusive orb, let's check the exclusive orb here, and it's on exchange boot. We can we just click on the event here, and you can see it. Uh, no, it's not here. Uh, I'm going to the wrong place again. It's permanent exchange. This orb of auto mail. It's I can check this right now, but there's a page and a link on the the video description on Wikipedia. The, that's the game week from this game. There's a lot of info, good info there. Uh, the some of the info is from the Japanese version, but a lot of players are adding information there from the English release and. This, these two unique orbs are very strong and they will still remain strong for every time you can get some of these exclusive orbs for your characters and it changes drastically how much damage Edward or Rick can perform or either Alphonse. Alphonse is a little more defensive but Edward does just some just good damage but if you don't have the, the both things, the character and the exclusive orb, he will underperform in the future. And that's it. If you, if you have a lot of gems and you're trying to summon for one more chance or you are close to the 10 summons for the guarantee character, you should probably summon on this banner here. Uh, Edward is actually, with his orb, one of the most powerful characters in the game right now. Uh, I, I believe Sadamitsu can also do a lot of damage, but he still lacks his exclusive orb, so Edward with his exclusive orb, it's probably the best damaging character in the game right now. But this exclusive exclusiveness is just limited. I'm pretty sure the, the exclusive orb release for all other characters are very close to release. Just like Sadamitsu, Freya and all other gacha characters will start to get their exclusive orbs on the way. Arn Green is other character that works very well when you get his exclusive orb. The difference between Arn Green with orb and Arn Green without his orb, it's very intense that it changes a lot of the character. So that's it. Uh, that's what I want to tell. Um, the game was very intense in Vion events uh, recently and I was not able to record everything and post uh, stuff about all the content that was released, I was either focusing on the event itself or other things, but right now I'm uh, like I can do more videos and faster because of this application that I'm using right now. I can start to do some videos uh, as soon as re the, the event is released. When a banner is released, I will try to start making videos as soon as possible. 
So this uh, this information needs to be released fast because people see a, a banner and they already want to to summon. They want the character. They want the weapon. Sometimes before any discussion is uh, is then is. It's happening between the, the the players of the game. Some people just summon because they like the character. It's okay if you like the character, just summon. It's it's your preference. Uh, the same I, I can say about this the banner from Sumeria. This is a strange banner because it's two bow characters at the same time on the same banner, and bow characters are actually the last useful of the characters right now. There's there's a reason for this, and I will click here on Siumeria just to explain for you guys, so you can understand a little better. Siumeria uses a mix of physical and magical attack, and the first attack is physical, the second is magical, the, the third is physical, the fourth is magical. As you can see, the, the her probably the best attack here uh, of her is the least distortion. That's magical. And what happens here is that bows have around the same values for both physical and magical attack. Let's check this Hazor foretell here. You see the, the physical attack, it's a little more than the magical attack, but it's very close. Uh, this this weapon here, also you can see that it's very close numbers. This is what happened here. Very, very, even closer numbers. And what happens is that usually raise even more beyond the the base values by using skills so like uh, rufus is a good example of this it, and that's why a lot of people call him the worst bow user in the game it's not true simply not true but he, he really lacks in damage because he can focus on, on single status he has rage rage increases attack on the start of each turn rage is stacks you can get stronger by the time but there's focus too focus also raises magic but you see you're using one skill slot for attack and the second for magic this this thing here it's terrible because the the character can can raise a, a single status he needs to raise both the enemies will will be eager to either magical or physical damage the, there's no reason for you to do to deal two types of attacks on a single enemy what it is does is just if you're in a dungeon and it, if there's a variety of enemies using a, a bow user will help you do average damage at least for some enemies but like i said this is this is not a, a, a interesting thing to do you either run physical or you either run magical sometimes you may mix some things but you you will be using a, a physical character and a magical character, not, not someone that has the two options. Nachi is one of the best um, bow users because she, she, as you can see here, uh, she's more magical uh, oriented. Her first attack is magical, the second is physical, but her second attack is very weak, so you barely consider it. And the third attack is magical, four is physical, and five is magical. In her magical attack is very strong, so she 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 ends up being useful because she also when you see her skills, she only raises magic. She doesn't care about physical damage at all, and she can improve passive skill of activation chance and increase the damage dealt. So that's why Nachi is not terrible, like you see uh, other bow users. Rufus is still good because he has a lot of hits, he can help you give more crystals in, in events like Valhalla, Assault, or just if you want to get more experience for Seraph Gate or on other events. But let's go back to Divine Weapon Summon. So we, we were talking about if this event is worked or not to Summon, and oh, just another connection error. And that's it, uh, this, this, this kind of explains because the, there's both bow users and let's check the characters here one more and this guy here is a little more offensive oriented but um, he, he tries to actually compete with uh, sword users like Salamitsu and all other story characters he probably has more physical attack than them but like you said you can see she this guy he's he's used uh, a mix of physical and magical attack and let's check his skills 
as you see, at least he has a better kit. He can increase both mat attack and magic at start of turns. So one skill slot for two things different than Rufus. Rufus uses two skills to raise his both attacks because he's mixed. And he, but that, that's a terrible thing here. Here, draw fewer enemies attack, and this is not important. You you want your tank to draw more attacks. So if you're trying to reduce the the enemy chances of attacking your character, that's not how it works. So he's just losing and waste off a lot of skills. Mm -hmm. He also improves critical attack on the start of your turns, and he can reach twenty percent. Snipe is the same skill from Cena, as example. But he does not get anything from critical hits, at least for now. I, I don't know how it's his exclusive orb, but it's just a check. And you can see he's also dark, a dark bow user. Nachi is a little better than him, but he, she does a little less damage than him. So, but there's one thing good here, and he's a story character from Valkyrie Anatomia. He will get 1k gems from free for you doing your his quests. That's good. And still meta and is simply and unfortunately not strong enough for your for this moment in the game. She has average status. She does not exactly focus in any of them. Uh, both her physical and magic attack are average. Her defenses are good because she's a Valkyrie. All Valkyries have very good defensive status, and you can see the her skills is. This one is true. Seeing is the same as Alice, it increases critical hit damage. Divine. Divine is a very good skill. It raises a lot of status when you when your purity gauge is at least and one. She's good to use around Norn. And this is terrible skill. Holy Rebellion, it's a terrible skill. You raise your damage dealt when you are below 48% AP. You don't want to do more damage when you are low on health. You want to do more damage when you are high on health. You want to kill the boss as soon as possible. And relying on something that works only when you are at low HP, it's not useful at all. So, unfortunately, Siumeria is one of the worst Valkyries even being a Gasha character. She will get her exclusive orbs that, that is makes her a little better, but right now she's not useful. She's not worth. Lenet F is actually uh, around uh, the same useful. Let's check Lenet F here. She here is Lenet F. You see, she has the heroines that raise brief gauge when attacking. It's it's good. She has knife and divine. At, at least all of her skills are useful. You see and. The probably she has probably lower uh, status than Siumeria, but it's not that difference at all. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to tell you guys that if you have you got your 5k gems from the event, only summon from Fumado Alchemist banner if it's if you are already summoning on it. If you not, don't like the Fumado Alchemist characters, just save it this gems. It will be more useful in the future, and I'm pretty sure we'll be getting some very strong characters uh, in this the same month. And there is also an update that future weapons will have some slots that you can raise and equip another skills on this new slot, and you can farm this new skills that can be equipped in the future. And it's not that far in the future. Uh, when I played the Japanese version, it was around the fourth or fifth month of the game, and max that the sixth month. And we are already on the fourth month of the Japanese schedule, or around this this time. So that's it. Don't summon if you are not already summoning. If you don't really want to invest on full metal alchemist characters, they are probably the best characters because of their exclusive orbs. Without their exclusive orbs, they are just average characters, a little just beyond the curve, but uh, not much. They they won't be able to compete to future Gacha characters. But with their orbs, they are strong. They are useful. But new characters are getting released very, very fast, as you can see. There's this Sumeria and Abel character here, and at least they are not better than 
the full metal alchemist characters if so that's it guys and i hope you enjoy the video if you haven't subscribed yet please just subscribe and i'll keep sending useful videos for you in the future thanks and closing